You excited, bro? Look at the mess you made, man. Your toys are everywhere, Kento. You're such a silly guy. Sit. Fist bump. There you go, buddy. Oh. I got something very special in my cart drawer. Something very classic. One of my most popular videos of the past couple years is on these bad boys. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of hard to get a million on YouTube, bro. It's pretty easy to get a million on IG. It's pretty easy to get a million views on TikTok. YouTube shorts is like whatever once you figure it out. But like a million views on YouTube is hard no matter how you swing it, you know? But these are the ones right here that did it for me, bro. These Muha Meds, man. We got a couple flavors right now. You know what I mean? Check them out. We got the papaya, the mimosa, the tropical runts, the chem dog. We got an equal mix of the gassy and the fruity, a little bit more towards the fruit. This has to be one of the most poppin' brands in the entire country, whether it's the legal market here in California or the hundreds or maybe thousands of fake carts that are being sold by your motherfucking dealer. Everyone's, I guess, smoked a Muha Med before, bro, and they just came out, not just, it's been out for a little bit, a few months now, but they've come out with their 90U hash rosin, man. Straight 90U, which is, is very rare, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of hash rosin pens, there's a lot of just flower rosin pens that try to get away with being hash, but the fact that they label this motherfucker, we're about to go film the Thanksgiving episode of Pine Park, so you know we gotta get a little bit loaded before we do that, man. Um, I think these are pretty easy, yeah. Pretty easy to open, you got a little pull tab right there. You pull and then push at the same time. Child proof, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite things about these batteries is how small they are, bro. This is micro, but I guess a lot of people don't like that because this could easily get lost. But you would expect something this small to have not the best, I guess, power behind it, not the biggest hit, not the most vapor or whatever, but brother. Damn, that's tasty. Which one is this one? The mimosa? Okay, okay, I, I shouldn't have started with one of my favorites, you know? Maybe we're gonna hype up the other ones just because this one's so damn good, but off of that one rip, bro, Kento's going crazy too, come on now. <coughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> Wait, that's kinda weird. Blinkers usually taste like shit, and I think we can all agree that, right? I'm not usually taking blinkers. Maybe it's because the coil's so fresh. You know, you're taking a blinker off the second rip, it's gonna taste better than when you're taking a blinker off like the 20th or the 30th rip. But that was, that was tasting this solid, brother. Half gram in this bitch. Portable as a little, I don't know, what is this portable as? This is smaller than anything in my pocket. It's smaller than my keys, my wallet, my phone. Fuck, I'm already stoned, holy shit. All right, yeah, I'm gonna be late to my podcast, my own show. Um, then we're getting dinner after, so we're gonna smoke some more. Then we're, it's just, it's just a getting high kind of day, bro. Come through. Look at that, bro. An actual after dark episode, man. That doesn't mean much because it gets dark as fuck so early nowadays, but we usually do do Pine Park like in the mornings and stuff, so it's not even a real after dark kind of show, but it is now. I got the tripod today so we can, oh, I brought a donut for the show, amazing. And then we got Tropical Runts, Chem Daug, and Papaya left. Let's fuck around with that papaya, man. We're going with all the fruity terps, man, all my favorites. I don't know if you can see that. This one is indeed the Bored Ape collab, so there's a lot of like Bored Ape little, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. It's a little like crypto collab though, which is pretty crazy. Crypto's in the shitter for sure. Oh, there's different colors. This one's red. That's exciting. That's pretty hype, man. I honestly thought they were all yellow because I've had like three of them and they were all yellow. That's hype, man, let's fucking get after it. What do we got here? Whoa, it is a collab. Look, it even says right there, bored and stoned. That's what I am right now, let's get high as fuck. <sighs> Gotta make sure that the motherfucking car's off. Oh, she's smoking, wow, okay. I'm really surprised at how much vapor these really let off. Like I was saying that in the beginning, but that was really like a three second draw. <coughs> I can get used to this, bro. Like this is like the perfect pocket device. Like it fits perfectly in any pocket. It probably fits in that little like mini jean pocket, you know, that you can't really fit anything in. This will fit in there. <coughs> You're a beast, Timmy. Oh, you smoke. 
the only parking spot. It's all small, so I parked across the street. Kind of scary. Homies GT3s right there. We got it going. It's popping in here. I think it's recording by accident. I think oh, shit. Be somehow it is. I think you're recording this whole time. Yeah, that's really good. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah. The little cornac. Nice fucking jacket, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. you got nice a fucking hoodie, Thank you, thank you. Uh, Your drip is in the car. Thanks, man. Close. I think it was a sprinkle. Clean little. That's 14, man. That car is really clean. Well, how many miles did it have, Nikita? S15? Let's get S15. Delicious ramen, delicious smoke. There is? Huh? This thing is cheap and holy shit. Abs. Check the fit, the new shit. Damn. <laughs> this guy's making your grinders, bro. Fucking handmade and shit. It's a legend, bro. Huh? Holy shit. Whoa, the palace little yes, race sir. section, the yes, formula sir. collab. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh. Hey, man, I appreciate that, bro. Here, you can have that, man. Oh, man, that hash bras and pennies for you, you my you. friend. Thank you. Thanks, man. I'll I Apple pay you or uh, I'll sell you for this ASAP. We're ending this video off at the absolute mecca. See that shit, bro? We got Panda Express back there. I don't know if it gets much better than that. People hate on Panda all the time, I hate it. Like, people hate on Chipotle, it's not real Mexican food. People hate on Taco Bell, it's not real Mexican, like, no shit, it's not real food, but like, I'ma eat it, bro, you know what I mean? No matter how rich I get, I'm never gonna be too good for fucking Panda Express. No matter how Asian I get, listen, bro, I'm gonna fuck up some Panda Express. We got ourselves uh, the last of the flavors, we got the Chem Dog number four. There is a GMO one, and I have tried that. GMO, you know, and it's daylight out. If I smoke GMO right now, I'm just gonna fucking pass out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely... There's something about that strain. Even the crosses, like a garlic cocktail, I love, but it just puts me to sleep, bro. Uh, I can't really do anything about it. This is another bored ape one, or like a bored and stoned or whatever. He's smoking a vape pen, actually, on this one. I'm not sure if it's the same as the... Oh! Oh, fuck! We have ourselves... No! Uh, easily the cleanest of all of the batteries. Oh yeah, this is fucking sexy, brother. This black and red color scheme. I think black and red looks good in anything. Oh my god, there's a little fucking board ape little monkey on there. Or like the skull thing. This is crazy, dude. The NFT and disposable collab. <coughs> Bro, if you got a fake one of these, you got scam times too. You got like NFT scammed and then fucking fake cart scam. That sucks. Cheers though. <sighs> Delicious. I'm telling you guys, there's something about hitting a pen in a car like when there's no nothing on you're just in like it's so still i feel like it tastes better i don't know what it is you definitely get higher maybe it's just because it's fucking hot in here i don't know dude it's this it's almost december and it's hot outside like it's california bro come on now i think even texas is colder than here right now which is a little bit of a shame we're fucking session bro do I have another one? Oh my god, I have the papaya one right here, bro. We're about to double sesh it up right now. Uh, so people are probably asking, Eric, what the fuck? Are these fake? Like, what's the point of the title? Like, are you smoking on some fake-ass carts right now? And the answer is no, these are not fake. These were sent to me from Muhammad's. You know what I mean? There's nothing fake about these. Like, I got it from the company themselves. You know what I mean? But this is most likely not what you're smoking on, especially if you're just buying it from the plug. What I mean by a fake brand, and I have to say this for every single video, because there's going to be comments, right? The fact that I put this in like the middle to the end of the video, there's going to be so many comments like, Eric, is that even fake? Or I don't understand what a fake means. It just means that it's a very, very commonly faked brand. And most likely, more units of this are out here that are fraudulent than the real ones. You know what I mean? Like, it's very easy to go on Alibaba or a fucking DH gate and get 1,000 of these batteries and 1,000 of these boxes and put bunk juice and gooch juice and put a little bit of vitamin e asshole tape in it and like you're chilling so if you're just buying from like a random plug see that's the thing right you gotta know 
your plug. A lot of people think they have the plug, but there's like the actual plug, like the growers and the actual companies themselves, because a lot of people don't realize, maybe not Muhammad's, a lot of these California companies are offloading a lot of their material through the back door, bro. They're realizing, wait, I can't make any money in the legal market, right? So they make all their money through the back door sales. They have reps in other states. They have like some of the biggest companies that you can think of sell illegally across state lines. They just don't really want anyone to know about it. But they have like people that drive over, or, like take the packs, ship the packs, like straight from the facility type shit. So if you have that plug, you're straight, you know what I mean? And you'll know if he's that plug, you know? But if you're buying like Muhammad's from Johnny in algebra class and shit, like he's not that guy, you know what I mean? Like he, he he's not that guy, he doesn't have the plugs, he's buying from the plug of the plug of the plug, like he's not the middleman, he's like the fifth man, you know what I mean? But if you can manage to find these reps from these companies that are actually selling the shit straight from the company or if you manage to get yourself into a position where you can buy this shit straight from the company well then you know you're not buying the fake fraudulent shit you know what i mean congratulations but until you're at that point i almost don't even think it's bro it's so hot holy shit hang on i almost don't even think it's fucking worth like buying fake carts or buying carts in general like if you're buying carts on the black market the chances are that it's fake. Like it's more likely that you're smoking bunk than real shit, just statistically, because there's more fake than real out there, especially for brands like Muhammad's, like brands like Stizzy, brands like fucking, I don't know, there's so many brands out there, just as many, damn, an absolute, two absolute babes just got out of the car. That's crazy. Oh, there they go. I hope they go into Panda too, bro. It's gonna be fun. You guys smoke weed? All right. Um. Yeah. I'm fucking cooked, bro. I'm stoned as fuck. Um. That just completely changed my like. My train of thought is fucking blurred right now. But yeah, don't buy fake cards, man. If you're buying anything from the plug, just buy flour. Like there, you can't fake flour. And you know, actually nowadays, Delta Eight buds and CBD buds, and I guess you can fake flour, but it's much harder to, you know, because you can literally put anything in this. Like the fact that. I'm only smoking this because I know where it came from, you know, and I feel like that should be the case for every single one of you Like if you don't know where it came from if it's just a random homie that's reselling you a box and like Nah, bro, you know what I mean? Nah, but if he's the plug plug and he's showing the boxes the shipment You know what I mean? He might have some motion. He might have some motion. You might have the plug, but until then I don't know about all that. So I Think that's my little spiel. Just protect yourself protect your lungs, bro. Double hit I love you all so much. Overall, my favorite flavor is easily that mimosa. We started off hot, I'm not gonna lie. I think we went from like best to, not best to worst, but best to least smoking. I don't know, this one's actually pretty clean, bro. The papaya second, in my opinion, but this chem dog is, I'm just not a chem dog kind of fan, you know? But it's definitely chiefing. Cheers, everybody. Holy shit, we can just go back to back. Like these chief, bro, but they taste so good too. <coughs> I'm sorry, just sweating shit. <coughs> All right, that's it for me. <coughs> I'm done, bro. I'm done, I'm out of here. I love y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting high with me. I hope you did. I hope you're smoking on some real shit. And if you're not, I'll see you in hell. Love you.